nearby there are places where you can see the streams disappear, but this process of sinking into the crevices, traveling through these crevices, is really what created the cave. So this water is actually bringing rock into the cave, decorating the walls and ceilings and floors with beautiful formations called flowstone. Mystery Cave is Minnesota's largest known cave at over 13 miles of mapped passageways. Three sources of light at all times is kind of the general rule of thumb. Actually, this whole time while we were in the dark, we weren't in here alone. This is one of our bats. This bat appears to be a little brown bat. This is a, by far the most common bat that uses Mystery Cave to hibernate in. And the main tour is through the historic entrance, the entrance that was discovered in 1937. That tour is about an hour in length. State-of-the-art trails, nice cement sidewalks, handrails, beautiful modern lighting system, uh, very active water features, lots of dripping, stalactites, wet flow stone. If you're looking for a little bit more of a rugged experience, we offer a two-hour tour. You see completely different things. We also offer a four-hour rugged wild caving tour where we gear you up with it. Helmet, protect our head, arm pads that will go on, knee pads around our knees. Boots. We just came down Fifth Avenue and we're going to take a small crawl to check Dragon's Jaw Lake. All right, Amy, now give me the camera. This is it, and then once you're off that board, you're into Dragon's Jaw. at one of the larger raft cones in the lake. An absolutely beautiful raft cone, totally encrusted with calcite crystals. The park is named after the town of Forestville, which was a boom town back in the early 1850s. That's so enough. It's a beautiful place to bring a family. I would recommend it highly to all. People are finding out about the park, they're, they're doing the cave, they're doing the historic site, uh, some of the best trout fishing in southern Minnesota. Horseback riding is one of our favorite activities of the park. We're the busiest horseback park in Minnesota. A lot of folks uh, don't expect the rolling hills and the beauty. Once they visit us, they're back to see us again. We used to come to a point on the left, that's where his tentacles used to hang out. Mm -hmm.